Good morning, Mama. Luis. You've been sitting here all night, haven't you? I couldn't sleep. You can't do this to yourself, Mama. I will only rest when you drop this terrible idea of tracking your father down in New Mexico and having him arrested. Listen to me, Mama. Only if you're going to tell me that you've changed your mind. I've heard Julian Crane's voice going through my head all night. I don't care what he said. He said Papa committed a crime, had stolen money. Now, I'm a policeman. Catching criminals and bringing them to justice is what I do. Your father is not a criminal. I don't know why Mr. Crane said the things he did. Well, that's my point. Why else would he have said them? I don't know. Perhaps he's mixed up or he misunderstood what Mr. Alistair said. That doesn't make any sense, and you know it. Please, what makes no sense is the idea of your father taking anything that wasn't his. How many times do I have to tell you your father was an honest man? I would trust him with my life. He had a wonderful marriage. <laughs> he walked out on you. Wonderful. What kind of wonderful marriage is that? Uh, Luis, that's enough. I don't want to upset you, Mama. Then stop this talk right now. My marriage to your father was wonderful. I cherish each and every day I had with him. He gave me great joy. And he gave me the most precious gift of all. My beautiful children, all conceived in love. That, Luis, that is what has sustained me all these years without him. And I will not listen to you try to take away the one thing I have left. Look, now even if you're right, and Papa didn't take a dime from Crane Industries. The APB that we put out on tells us that he's alive and living in New Mexico right now. You know, that means that all these years that, that he's been away, that he didn't even get in touch with us. That he didn't even have the decency to so much as write you a postcard to tell you not to worry. He deserted you, Mama. He left you to raise all of us kids alone. You had to work your fingers to the bone because he copped out and ran away. Now, for that reason alone, he deserves to pay. Now, I have no choice here. The hell you don't. All right, I don't care what he's done. You can't arrest our own father. I don't like this any better than you do, Miguel. Then how can you even think of having Papa arrested? He's been accused of a felony. Now, cops don't get to play fast and loose with the law. There aren't two sets of rules. One's for a cop's family and one for everyone else's. You don't even know if he's guilty, Luis. Well, that's for the courts to decide. Then if the court decides he's innocent after you've had him arrested, how will you feel then, Luis? Hmm? How will you feel when you've destroyed your father's life? Because I'm telling you, nothing could destroy Martin more than this betrayal by his own son. All these years, this family has been held together not by money, not by material things, but by faith and trust and love. You take away those things, Luis, and you've destroyed our whole family. I'll get it. Maybe by the time I come back, my brother will have come to his senses. Yeah. Maybe Hank is right. If your father is alive, he must have left us to protect us in some way. How do I make you understand? Your father would have rather die than do anything to hurt this family. We were his reason for living. I remember the day you were born. The look of pride and love in your father's eyes. The first time he saw his beautiful son. I don't want to hear it, Mama. It won't change the facts. And that's another thing, okay? You've never trusted the Cranes as far as you can throw them, and suddenly Julian Crane's words carry more weight than your mom's? Sorry, Plara, I don't have time for breakfast. Good luck with your son. It's too late, Mama. I mean, look. How can you have our own father arrested? <sighs> Maybe neither of you wants to know why Papa never so much as sent any of us a birthday card or a check to help Mama with the mortgage. But I want some answers. Whatever your father did, he did because he loved us. If that's good enough for Mama, it's good enough for me. You know, what's wrong with you? Long before you put in a police uniform, you were a member of this family. Where's your loyalty to us? Nobody loves this family more than I do. Look, I just want to uncover the truth. I gotta get to you, Sarah. What are you gonna do about Papa? I don't know. But I'll tell you something right now. 
You know, if I let Papa off the hook just because he's our father, then I'll never wear my police uniform again.